Hi there, Matt here from Basketball Victoria. In this video, we'll show you how to register as a player, team manager, or coach um, using a Player HQ registration form. Uh, firstly, there are two ways you can get to the registration form. Um, the first one is searching for the club or association on the public Player HQ website, playhq.com. Um, so you search for the club or association. Uh, view their registration forms which are publicly available. Um, note that not all registration forms um, will be publicly available, um, however they, they may be still active. Um, so the second way and probably the most um, common way is for the club or association to provide a unique registration form link um, to those people to, to um, register to. Um, so I suggest if you, if you need uh, help with the link to the registration form, contact your relevant club or association and they can then provide that to you. So here we're on the landing page for um, this registration form for this basketball club. Um, you'll notice here at the top right, uh, my name's appearing um, because I'm logged into PlayHQ um, and I have a current active account. If you don't have a PlayHQ account, um, there'll be a sign up option up here. Um, please click on that, go through the process of creating an account for yourself. Um, and once you've done that, you'll then be able to commence the registration. So I'm going to click on get started. And first thing it'll ask me to do is choose the user. So choose who I'm um, registering. So this is really important, especially for parents um, uh, or guardians registering their, their children. Um, so how it works for parents is that the parents will need to create a Play HQ account for themselves as what we call the primary account holder and then log in with the parents account, uh, commence the registration form and then there's these two options down here. Um, if they've registered their children as dependent before, um, their name will appear here. Um, but if they haven't registered their their child or dependent um, before they can then register and create, I guess, a PlayHQ account for their child or the dependent, which will then be linked to the primary account holder being normally the parent. Um, this will allow the parent to control uh, the account for their children, um, as well as their details and, and other things which they can view in the profile section. So today I'm going to register myself and click continue. And then there's three options. So there's the player option, as well as the coach and team manager. Um, so I'm gonna pretend that I'm the coach. Select that, continue. It'll then ask me for my details, um, most, of which, most of which will be pre-filled. So scroll down, make sure all that information is complete. Uh, I'll add in an emergency contact, uh, co coaching accreditation level. Um, this can be changed at a later date if you uh, get another accreditation um, via your profile. And then if you've got working with children check information you wish to add, um, that can be done as well. So I'll select save and continue. Excellent, so now we'll go to the fees section. So if there are fees uh, for the uh, organization um, they'll appear here so that will be I guess the, at a club level any fees at the club level will appear um, as well as the association uh, and then basketball Victoria uh, annual license fee um, for players not coaches necessarily but for, for players um, that may appear here if that's due for a renewal click on the T's and C's which can be viewed there and continue uh, and then Additional products, so these are merchandise products um, which are optional to, to select, um, but you may wish to uh, include uh, some products as part of your registration. Continue. And then we get to the final page, this is payment um, in the summary. Uh, if there was a payment to be made, credit card information would appear here where you can obviously then edit your credit card details. Um, and then once you've done that, submit the registration. And a note will say you've successfully registered. 
uh, you'll also receive uh, an email, um, one confirming your registration, which is the one that's just popped up here, as well as an invoice as well, um, which you may require. Once you've completed your registration, um, your club or association will then see that you have registered and they'll then be able to allocate you to relevant teams um, and anything else they wish to, to do in, in PlayHQ.